I'm Jordan, and you're watching Fixbook. So today, I'm going to show you how to replace an alternator in your 95 Mitsubishi Eclipse. Okay guys, today, um, I've got an alternator off already, and this is just going to be a brief little overview. It's not too bad. Um, so what I did here was went ahead and took off your fan. You got four 10 millimeter bolts. Take that off. Um, and then, you're going to have... That's the old one. Here's the new one. It's going to be setting like this. And you're going to have an adjuster right here. Oh, there goes my bolt. But basically, the bolt that just fell out, it's going to be setting up like this. You're going to loosen this bolt, then loosen this guy. And then that's going to be coming through the top part through the bottom part you're going to have a nut setting right here you'll have a stud on the other side and we can kind of look and we can see down here that's that's where the stud came through so basically take those two fasteners off you got a squeeze plug right here like a 12 millimeter nut right here remember to disconnect your battery before you do anything and then um once you get it off it's going to kind of come through here like this and when I was reading up on all data it went about telling me the wrong way it said just remove a sensor and you're good to go and the job calls for 1.3 hours um, so this is the best way I found to do it the easiest way and you can see I got the wheel off um, it's actually you may be able to do it without taking the wheel off this is what it looks like from beneath um, so you may not have to go over there with the wheel, but you got really good access. Um, I left the oil filter on. If you take the oil filter off, the nut's easier to access. So it's not that bad of a project. If you're like a first time do-it-yourselfer, um, I have confidence in you. You'll be able to knock this thing out. So um, that is pretty much it, guys. I'll show you a view of it once I have everything hooked back up to you. Okay, guys, and here's what it looks like once it's installed back, and it kind of gives you an idea of what you'll be dealing with um let's see if i can get a good good shot of this tensioner um yeah so that is the upper bolt and that is the tensioning bolt there uh spinning this right tightens the belt spinning it left loosens the belt and initially you'll loosen this guy and then loosen the belt and take the belt off and then take this bolt all the way off now I'll show you from the bottom what I was talking about earlier. If you take the oil filter off, as you can see, that's what I did. Um, it's gonna give you a lot better shot at that stud. So that is what the stud looks like with the nut. And that's your alternator. So you just take that off, that bolt I showed you before, your two wires off, and the alternator comes right out. You could also probably skip taking the fan off and just take it right out through the bottom. Um, cause when I was trying to put it in, it fell right out the bottom. So, um, yeah, that, that'd probably make it easier. So that's going to conclude the project for today. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you would like subscribe, comment and all that fun stuff. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.